Shipmates, thank you for continuing to stay on the watch. The Mass Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, myself, and your senior leadership team, as well as the American public, stand in awe of your continued dedication to duty and resilience of that and your families. We're five plus weeks into the anxiety and stress of this government lapse and your non-pay. You, as members of the armed forces, should not be expected to shoulder this burden. I remain heartened by assistance available to you within the lifelines and by the outpouring of support from local communities across the nation. But ultimately, I find it unacceptable that Coast Guard men and women have to rely on food pantries and donations to get through day-to-day -day life as service members. This week, we'll hit another sobering milestone, and that's potential non-payment of our civilians on Friday. We have a workforce of 8,000 civilians that work alongside the uniformed members of the world's best Coast Guard doing tremendously important things each and every day. Myself and your service secret secretary, our service secretary, the Honorable Kirsten Nielsen, will continue to seek solutions. I will continue, along with the Master Chief, to take to Capitol Hill to message the critical importance of putting paychecks in the men and women's hands that serve in the world's best Coast Guard. And on a final thought before I kick it over to the Master Chief, let me just do a toss out about mutual assistance, Coast Guard mutual assistance. That is your fund. That is your safety net. We've been working with Admiral Kerry Thomas, retired, who's the administrator. They have secured sufficient funds to put money in your hands to bridge through your personal financial challenges. Master Chief. Thanks, Admiral. This will end. We will get through this. I want to thank you for your strong leadership thus far in this challenge. Reconnect with your folks. Make sure that you're understanding their challenges and putting them in touch with the resources they need. When we get through this, I want you to reflect back on your leadership and be proud of what you did and how you took care of your people. Admiral. So let me wrap this up, Master Chief. So in closing, continue to stand tall. Your dedication and resilience to this adversity defines the absolute best of our nation. Thank you and Semper Paratus.